Hi everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Thursday, June 27th. The surviving suspect in the Boston Marathon bombings is now under federal indictment. Justice Department officials said a 30-count indictment was returned against accused bomber Jokar Tsarnaev. The U.S. Attorney's Office said the charges include using a weapon of mass destruction. The bombings killed three people and injured dozens of others. The 19-year-old Tsarnaev is one of two Chechen brothers believed to have planned and carried out that attack on April 15th. The elder brother was killed later in a police gun battle. The surviving brother remains in a prison hospital near Boston. President Obama says yes, the leaks about the National Security Agency's surveillance of Americans have hurt, but no, he's not going to go overboard in efforts to have leaker Edward Snowden brought to justice. Obama is in the African nation of Senegal, the first stop on his tour of the continent. He told reporters he should not have to speak personally with leaders of Russia or China about Snowden and was not going to be scrambling jets to get the 29-year-old hacker. Snowden, who just turned 30, has been charged with espionage and theft. He's believed to still be at the Moscow airport, awaiting transport to a country that will grant him asylum, most likely Ecuador. Officials of Ecuador, meanwhile, reacted angrily today to threats from Washington. The Senate Foreign Relations Committee threatened to let Ecuador's free trade agreement with the U.S. expire if the country offers asylum to Snowden. A government minister from Ecuador said his country does not accept threats from anybody. He called the threatened loss of trade benefits an instrument of blackmail by the United States government. Elsewhere in the Senate, the chamber moved the sweeping immigration reform package to within one final vote of approval. A procedural vote was won early in the day on a tally of 68 to 32. Final passage was expected by the end of the day by a similar margin. Supporters were hoping to get enough Republicans to go along to get a 70-vote majority, thinking that would put extra pressure on the House of Representatives to approve the package where it heads next after Congress returns from its Independence Day recess. That's your political news roundup for Thursday, June 27th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for the latest political, economic, and stock market news all day long.